I don't know. Three simple words. How to be with those words. Almost how to be, I don't know. We all want to know. We want to know everything. Think of one of my dogs, Osha. Osha was a beautiful bear, wolf, Akita, and Osha means bear medicine. It's Osha root, which is about found at 9,000 feet. It's very good for the lungs, colds, and things like that. So I named him Osha. He was bear medicine. I had him for about two years, and a friend of mine was staying at my house watching him and my other dog, Cheyenne. And I was up in Utah, and I, the fifth day when I was returning, I, when I got back, the dogs were gone. She had apparently let them, the door open, and they'd run after something. And a neighbor called and said that my dog, Cheyenne, was just down the street. So then we went out and we looked for Osha. And apparently he had followed a female dog that was in heat. We looked and we looked and we looked for days. I ran an ad in the paper for six weeks. I never found him. Did he get lost and was out there still wandering around? Uh, of course, I looked at all the humane societies in the whole area. Did somebody take him away? Was he two blocks away in somebody else's yard? Was he still alive or was he dead? Had somebody shot him? I don't know. I could have come up with all these ideas and chose to fasten on to one of them. Had a feeling that maybe he's still alive. And maybe I believed that feeling and therefore I knew. And that knowing would make me feel better. But in the end, if I chose something, it would always lurk in the background another possibility, haunting me, sitting there as a doubt. So I had to be with, I don't know. I had to be the circle, so to speak. I had to be spacious, soft, love to I don't know which means that all the movements that were reaching for the answers, that's what I had to be spacious to. To all the inside of me that I needed to know. I had to anchor myself in what was willing to be, I don't know. And that is your presence that's beyond thinking, beyond knowing, beyond belief. It is true here knowing that does not know facts or ideas or concepts or beliefs. Paradoxically, 
Your deepest, truest knowing is I don't know. Sundance has had a rash. It just, it was there when I got him. I changed his food hoping that that would do it, but then I started to wonder, was it because I changed his food? Was it because of the environment? Or what in the environment? I tried this, I tried that. Because I wanted to eliminate it so that I could feel like I had accomplished that and so that I could be in control. Because when nothing works, I'm not in control. And I don't know what to do. So I had to be with I don't know again in many ways. Imagine all the past things that have happened to you. Or something's happened. You don't actually know the cause. You could have an illness. And sometimes you just don't know what it is. So you don't know what to do. So you can't feel like you're in, you're out of control. I can't do anything. I don't know. So all the need to control, you must be the soft, spacious circle to. You must be, I don't know, <laughs> to all that needs to know. <laughs> I don't know is simply the greater you. It's not a thought. It's surrender. To be I don't know is surrender. Recently, my dog, Chasta, was seriously injured. One of her teeth were broken off. She had puncture wounds, so I took her to the vet. They fixed her up, but they had to, they had to give her a strong anesthetic for, to get the tooth. She came back, she seemed fine. Now, she was 12 years old, old for a big dog, and she'd been having a stomach problem where she was throwing up, and I had been able to control that by giving her raw food, but very small amounts. She was losing a lot of weight. So the first day back from the vet, she was fine, eating, moving around. The next day, slowing up. By later that day, she wasn't drinking, she wasn't eating. She got up maybe once or twice a day to move positions. And then one night I went out to check on her. I checked on her earlier, she had some water. So she just drank a lot of water. That was good because I had to feed her water and I had to try to get some food in her. So she just drank some, probably a lot of water. So I thought, that's good. And I went back a couple hours and looked out. She wasn't breathing. She had thrown the water up because she had been lying down there. Was it the injuries, which didn't seem bad enough to kill her? That didn't feel so either. But was it the anesthetic because she was already compromised and her organ system went through failure? Did she need to throw up and not being able to get up, choked? Was there something there that I didn't know about? Like cancer, was that really the blockage? So all the, when the thoughts stir, 
And then the thoughts all along the story, if I'd done that, if I'd done this, but I don't know that. But if I think I know that, if I'd done this, this would have happened. If I think I know that, then I'm hanging on to the story from my I know if I think I did that. I know it's my fault. I know this. I know that. I know keeps you locked into your stories. I know is about control. I know is a tight little spin in the great circle of who you are, which is, I don't know. How long am I going to live? How long are you going to live? I don't know. What am I going to die from? I don't know. So this, I know, is control. And I don't know is surrender. But it's... It's frightening at times that I don't know. When the mind feels it's got to know. To survive. To be able to be effective. To accomplish something. Just imagine all the times in the past of, I don't know. Where you think maybe if, if you knew, you would feel better. If you knew, you would have more peace. But there's no way to really know. And you keep trying to know. I gotta know. If I know, I'll have peace. So that I know, and the need to know, steals your peace. I don't know is actually peace. You in the state of surrender, relaxation, breathing, down, here, presence, is the deepest state of true knowing that doesn't know facts or ideas or concepts. In fact, it doesn't know any of that. That's not its world. It is the I don't know that all the I knows move in. <laughs> so in a way, the answer to the question, who am I? And when you answer it, I don't know. If you can become that, I don't know. That's who you are. It doesn't mean that you are nothing, because this I don't know, is a movement into being the whole circle and abiding there is a quiet, unknowing peace. So you must be peace, I don't know, which is all this love to yourself, to all your needs to know and figure out and understand. Because if I do, I'll be, I'll feel better. This is I know. And this is I don't know. Compassion. Be willing to be the compassionate I don't know to the need to know. That's for
freedom. Freedom. You see me looking around. I'm being, I don't know. I'm just being seen. It doesn't know. 